set off for the ecology centre in the minibus. On the way there, we kept our eyes open for any signs of spring. We noticed many spring flowers and buds beginning to form on the trees. Ronnie gave each of us a listening stone. The listening stones were little. We had to close our eyes and be quiet as we listened for the sound of nature. Then we opened our eyes again. Ronnie was talking to us after that. Then we moved on. We went for a walk through a path. Ronnie had a game to play with us. Ronnie had planted some things we should not find in the countryside. He called them unnature things. It was about finding these. At the end, we told Ronnie how many things we found. It was fun. We went to the poetry, a tree with a poem on it. The poem was about a boy who climbed a tree. Then Ronnie explained how we need trees to breathe because we breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. Trees breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen. Ronnie had a pretend chainsaw. The trees and chainsaw game was funny. Kaylee went to the wrong tree so she was out. The trees are not really trees. They are just teachers pretending to be trees. First Ronnie chopped down Mrs Robertson for his chair. Then he chopped down Mrs Ford for his table. When we went to the marshy ponds, we needed to get under a railing. Then we went over to a pond where there was frog spawn. Ronnie picked it up. It was slippery and wet. We put the frog spawn back in the pond. When we moved on, we saw more frog spawn and the water was dirty. When we went over the bridge, over a very muddy, squelchy area, Mrs Robertson was scared she would fall in. A wee while later, we came out of the, out of the marshy area. Ronnie took us inside to have our lunch. I sat next to Joe. Lunch was re- really good because I was hungry after being out in the fresh air all morning. I ate all my food and put my rubbish in the bin. When we went to the Ecology Centre, we got to see the Green Queen. She is a statue. Ronnie told us the tale of how the Green Queen can make things grow by touching them. We think Tabby is a little green fairy for the Green Queen because she has green fingers. Everything she plants grows well. When we went into the greenhouse, we saw a pond with plants and a water fountain in it. It was not an ordinary fountain, as it worked by power from a solar panel. When the sun shone on on the solar panel, lots of water came out of the fountain, but when a cloud went over the panel, the water stopped flowing. As soon as the sun came out from behind the cloud, there was lots of water which splashed me. It was cool. Ronnie pumped the lemonade bottle with rocket with water until it flew very high into the air. The rocket was funny because it splashed Ronnie's head with water, and it once splashed Kaylee too. I wanted to get splashed, but I didn't. We were playing bats and moths. The game was really fun. I was bat, so I had to have a blindfold on. Everyone else was a moth, and I had to try and catch them by following the sounds of their voices. I shouted, bats, and everyone answered, moths. Eventually, I caught everyone. When we went to see the rubbish music area, we played the rubbish instruments. It was great fun, and there were different sounds of music. Ronnie gave us old pla- bottles that were iron brew bottles. He had put pasta in the empty bottles and when we shook them, they made music. Then we each got a shot to play on the metal rusty buckets. Ronnie asked us if we would like to find a spot on our own. We got three minutes to ourselves. I liked it because it was quiet and it gave me more time to look around and notice more details. We had to look hard for f- to find things. At the end, we told each other about one of these things. The rabbit hole was long and big. Grass was growing out of the rabbit hole. The door was made of old tires. When we went in the rabbit hole, it was dark. There were some spiders in the rabbit hole, but it was great fun. As we came out, we got our picture taken. At the end of the day, me and Lisa spotted a kennel. The kennel belonged to a cat. Inside the kennel was a dead mouse. Mrs. Hodge didn't like the mouse. Please vote for the Ecology Centre.